carbon and its compounds carbon is the element which is of immense significance to us in elemental form and in combined form it is a non metal present in the 14th group of the periodic table carbon is derived from the word carbo means coal earth's crust contains 0.02 percentage of carbon in the form of carbonates coal and petroleum atmosphere also contains carbon in the form of carbon dioxide we all are composed of compounds of carbon our blood muscles skin are all made up of carbon compounds proteins carbohydrates oils and fats present in our diets are compounds of carbon the element carbon has symbol c with atomic number 6 that means it contains 6 electrons and 6 protons hence the electronic configuration of carbon will be 2 comma 4 that means in k shell there are two electrons and in l shell there are four electrons since it has four electrons in the outermost shell its valency is 4 and we say that carbon is a tetravalent element let's look the electron dot structure of the element carbon in electron dot structure we represent only the electrons present in the outermost shell since carbon has four electrons in the outermost shell we need to show only those four electrons around the carbon with symbol c in our lower classes we have learned that reactivity of elements is due to their tendency to attain the nearest inert gas configuration or they need to obey the octet rule in the previous chapter that is in the third chapter we learned how ionic bond is formed between a metal and non metal through transfer of electron In case of carbon it has four electrons in the outermost shell. So what will carbon do? Will it lose its four valence electron or will it try to gain four electron to attain noble gas configuration? Let's check what will happen for each condition. Let us assume that carbon gains four electron. When carbon gains four electron, the neutral carbon converts to carbon 4 minus anion. But still it remains unstable. because it will be very difficult for the nucleus of carbon with 6 protons to hold on to 10 electrons now let us see what happens if carbon loses 4 electrons on losing 4 electrons carbon converts to a cation with 4 positive charge but again it will be very difficult because it requires a large amount of energy to remove 4 electrons so as carbon cannot form anion or cation the organic compounds or carbon compounds are not ionic in nature carbon attains its stability by sharing its valence electron with other atoms of carbon or with atoms of other elements not just carbon but many other elements form molecules by sharing electrons in this manner when an atom shares its electron with another atom there is a bond formed between those two atoms hence the bond formed between the atoms by sharing of electrons is known as covalent bonding in covalent bond formation sharing of electrons is mutual and equal the shared pair of electrons belong to the valence shell of both the combining atoms a non metal when reacting with a non metal forms covalent bonding compounds that are formed through covalent bonding are known as covalent compounds and covalent compounds usually have low melting and boiling point it is because even though their bonds are strong but the intermolecular forces are weak similarly covalent compounds also are poor conductors of electricity since the electrons are shared between the atoms no charged particles are formed and this results in the poor conductivity of covalent compounds Let's compare ionic compounds with covalent compounds. Ionic compounds are formed by the transfer of electrons, where covalent compounds are formed by sharing of electrons. In ionic compound, the metal gives its electron to the non-metal, whereas there is no give and take in covalent compound formation; just sharing of electrons takes place. Usually, ionic compounds exist in solid form, but covalent compounds can be seen in solid, liquid, or in gaseous form. Ionic compound can conduct electricity in molten state. This is because in the molten or aqueous state, ionic compounds have free ions that can move inside the solution. 
whereas covalent compounds do not contain any kind of ions and hence they are poor conductors of electricity since there is a strong force of attraction between the ions in ionic compound the melting and boiling points are usually high whereas covalent compounds have low melting and boiling point due to the weak intermolecular forces now let's see an example of carbon forming a covalent bond with four other carbon atoms carbon is a tetravalent element hence its outermost shell has four electrons now when four more carbon atoms come to form a bond with the carbon each carbon atom shares one one electron and completes the octet so observe how the bonding is formed between the four carbon atoms and making the carbon atom in the center to complete its octet so you can see in the red circle there are eight electrons and each carbon atom has shared one electron to the other carbon atom and you can see when one electron is shared from one of the carbon atom the other carbon atom also gives back one electron for its sharing so electrons are always shared in pairs we can even represent the sharing of electrons among atoms using lines that kind of a structure is known as structural formula i hope that this video was useful for you in making you understand covalent bond and covalent compounds and its characteristics in the upcoming videos we will see how covalent compounds are formed through sharing of electrons Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, hit the like button, share the video among your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos of class 8, 9, 10 science.